I'm Mami Okada. I'm a director of operations at Bang Zoom as well as casting director. I'm Victor Skroy. I'm video production coordinator. So that little bit of video we get to do, I kind of have my fingers in all those pies. Unique thing about Bang Zoom is again we work with new actors, and then we've done uh, workshops like this all over the convention, especially at the Anime Expo in Los Angeles. If we can talk about some of the, the projects we've gotten to work on, um, some recent ones as well as some classic ones that maybe you guys just didn't know was us. Some of the bigger stuff we've done recently, I don't know if you guys uh, know the Haruhi Suzumiya series. We've done both seasons plus more recently the movie, uh, The Disappearance of Haruhi Suzumiya. Some other cool ones, k -On. I don't know if that's really gotten big here. It was huge in Japan, it's got pretty big in America and we're just kind of seeing it pick up in some other countries. We've also gotten into um, video games, and this is kind of a weird in-between because it's anime-ish in that we're dubbing, but it's based off of video games. Sometimes it gets really stressful, mm -hmm. but it's a teamwork, so yeah. don't just put it on yourself. Something is not going right meaning it's not just you, so don't worry about it. Hi, my name is Tiffany Lowe. I'm the event manager of AnimeCon. I have been doing this from the inception. Basically what I do is to assist Omar and Melissa in planning the event. I'm doing all the behind the scenes stuff, so <laughs> all the fancy stuff you're seeing in terms of all the booths setting up and um, the ambience of the rooms and that's basically, well basically my job, <laughs> so that's what I do. And it has been really a great experience just seeing and hearing how people's reviews on how well the event has been going um, has been pretty good. So I look forward to seeing all of you here. If not this year, definitely next year. Extreme OMG is a production company through uh, Tricia Gibson uh, from Barbados. Uh, I think she built the company up. Uh, through wanting to help the youths in Barbados, people that would like to get out there with their talent. So, so it just proves that in Barbados there's a lot of talent and basically OMG Productions really are the guys that want to push it out there and the whole plan is to actually have a home in Barbados for extreme sports involving paintballing, fitness, martial arts, as well as BMX and skating and all the water sports that comes with this lovely country. It's been a long time. I kind of grew up on the 80s action film that made me want to get into films um, and become an actor and martial arts as well. I grew up on the Bruce Lee's, Jackie Chan's and uh, Van Damme's. And yeah, so I got into martial arts when I was in my teens and gymnastics as well, did a lot of different styles of martial arts and putting them into practice with something like Street Fighter. I was a big video game fan. So not being content with what was already out there uh, in terms of the attempts at video game movies, me and my co-writer Joey Anso, who's directing the series that we're doing, decided we should do our own um, Street Fighter project. So we did the short Street Fighter Legacy and that did really well on YouTube, over 4 million hits and the fan reaction was fantastic. So since then we've written an entire series which we'll be doing next year called Street Fighter Assassin's Fist. Obviously me and Ruth have been very lucky to be here a few times on holiday. The last time I went was in 2003 and we, um, it hasn't changed one bit. It's a beautiful country, it's, the weather's amazing, the people are so welcoming, you can talk to them, they're so, so nice people. The beaches are beautiful, I know Christian's his first time here and he, he went to one of the local beaches and he loved it. He was doing the old Baywatch walk. Yeah, the old Baywatch walk and it's just been a fantastic country here and to be here and actually be doing what we love, performing and promoting extreme sports, it just tops it all off. Yeah, there's so much to do here as well and you know, what Trissy is trying to do as well is just um, make more opportunities for people and the youth of Barbados to actually be able to do their passions and what they enjoy and it's fantastic and like Joe said, the, the people are so friendly and welcome and that's, that's made a big difference, you know, even People just walking down the street and they say good morning to you and you don't get that in London very much. It's, uh, it's a completely different world. 
And the beaches, we went down to Browns Beach, checked that out, and that was amazing. I mean, I've never been on a beach like that with the, the crystal clear water and everything, so I was having a whale of a time. And I think we can do a bit more of that while we're here, uh, while I'm still in Barbados. And My agent calls and she says, you know, you got to come into Toronto. Um, you got to do this this audition. They're trying to find somebody to play Storm. It's an American series. They're trying to move all of the characters up now to be Canadians. This is they're about their third run through. So they didn't get down to me until they'd already done like two, three sets of auditions and they just couldn't find this woman. So I go into the audition. And this is the one where they've got a tape deck. Now I'd done a few auditions before, didn't get them. But I couldn't figure out why there was this this tape. So this was back in the day, so it was cassette. Cassette there for us to listen to this woman who had done Storm before. So you're listening to this thing, but in the meantime, they're telling you all of this background information about Storm. And the big thing was, she has to be a black actor, don't you know, because she's from North Africa. I command the Sahara winds, transform this ice to steam. You know, Toronto is the most multicultural place in the world after New York. So there's everything. So there's, there's actors, there are actresses there from every corner of the African continent with very authentic accents. I have never heard really authentic, at that point, authentic accents on American television series. So my choice was, do I do, try to do an authentic accent like I heard these actresses around me? No, mind you, these actresses that come back for their third audition. Sign up. They got a tape there. The lady don't sound African at all, this American actress. And I realized they don't want North African. They want something that doesn't sound completely twangy and American. That's, that's all they knew that they wanted. They could talk North African all they wanted. They, nobody was into authenticity at that point. A wall of rain to quench the flames. So I made the best decision because what I did was I went in there and I happened to do this kind of voice that came straight off of doing Shakespeare in front of 1800 people on top of this thing. And that's why she's sort of very plummy and drowned, you know, and isn't Professor Xavier Sauron has manipulated rogues mind. What is North African about that? I came up through theatre, a lot of the stuff that I did when I was just getting into the business on the whole was I don't have a, a, a theatre degree, I don't have a film degree, my degree is in psychology, I left Barbados in 1977, I had no role models to go and be a professional actor, I was a Barbados scholar out of Queen's College and them people so don't become actors! It just don't happen, I had a couple of things that were open to me, doctor, lawyer, that was it really so that's all you were allowed to do when you graduate as a Barbados scholar from QC in 1977 Ice winds, so I had a psych degree um, I graduated in 1980 and hitchhiked from Sackville New Brunswick to Toronto to become an actor and met up with the usual thing which is great, you seem to have a nice personality, but you have no experience. Between 81 and 87, I still had to have other jobs. In 1987, I got my equity card, I joined the union, and since 1987, until I came back to Barbados, I didn't have to work at anything else besides acting. And we have to get to the point here where at least some of us have that privilege of actually being able to work at what they are meant to do. Anime con! Yeah!